Okay, we'll start again. I've got here my old compass set from the 19, dare I say it, 1970s, made in Czechoslovakia. I paid at a garage sale five dollars for this set. Okay, that's all you really need for tech drawing in high schools, if that. So, compasses have got on one end a lead sharpened to a chisel point, like so, and on the other end they've got the point. So, there's one. You might also have dividers which are just two points as you can see there I notice it's just picked it up yep so we'll use those I've got another couple of sets of compasses there just to um, keep settings to avoid changing things so grab as many sets of compasses as you can when you are doing a transition piece Okay, I'm just doing the um, drawings. First thing I'm going to use is, there you go, very high quality strawberry box from the local fruit shop. Just so my compass points don't dig into the kitchen table. Because I don't think that would be a very desirable domestic outcome. So, what we're doing here, we've essentially got a truncated cone, as you can see. Point A, B, C is buried in the back, D, E, F, G, H. When I look at it from on top, point A, point B, E, F are there, as you see. And because this is symmetrical, everything else is the same. F to G is the same as E to F, so essentially I've got four things to draw. They're um, identical. Let's have a look at face A, B, B, F. That's essentially looking at it from on top view. To calculate it in real life, we know the distance from E to B is more than from there to there. And we know that the vertical distance, so that is the true horizontal distance, we know that the true vertical distance from E to A is from this point just there to that point just there. So all we really do is we just draw out the true distance from I'm going to call it point B that can be E prime to E. We measure the true height, we measure the true base, and then we draw it out. The way it's done is with compasses. Find as many pairs as you can. This is my old tech drawing kit from, God forbid, 40 years ago. Gee, am I that old? The answer is yes. The compasses are sharpened with the compass lead at that sort of angle. At an angle. The other end of the compasses are just a um, sharp pointer. Just like so. So, what we've got to do, let's have a look at this face A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. Really, it's a series of triangles. A, B, F and A, B, E are the two triangles we can draw to figure out where things are accurately. The true distance from point E to point B Let me zoom in a bit. to get the true distance from point E to point B. We know that that is the absolute base from there to there. We know the true height goes from where my pencil is to there. 
So that's the true height. So to calculate it, all we do is we get a pair of compasses. Just wind these in. Eventually we'll get there. This will be 20 times on the video. Point A to point B. So there is the true distance from point A to point B. Let's just draw these straight across. There's our lines pitched across. The true distance is up to there. So the true distance from point E to point B is done. Okay, that is the true distance from point E to point B. Just there, perfect. So now I've got that one there measured out true length. From point A to point B is easy, it's just a straight measurement. Done. So that one there is point A to point B measured from point E to point F. There is point E to point F measured. Now the last one, to go from point A to point E, this triangle here, from point A to point E, let me once again zoom in, from point A to point E, I need to get that measurement. Do it the same way. There is my x dimension from point A to point E. So there's my x measurement. The y measurement is still the same. So let me just extend this one along a bit. I'm just essentially drawing the um, complete triangles just to mark things out. So that is my true length from here going back to point A from there where it's crossed over so from that point just there where I've got the tip of the compasses to this point here proper point A that is the true distance from point A to point E so what I have here let me remove all this I have got four compasses. That's the true distance from point A to point E or the true distance from point B to point F or the true distance from point F to point D or the true distance from A to G and so on. This here is the true distance from point E to point F. That is the true distance from point A to point B so they're the two easy ones to measure, they're the horizontal distances. This is the diagonal measurement from point B to point E or the diagonal measurement from point A to point F or point D to point G. Now let's start drawing it out. I don't want to go anymore, I don't want to lose them. Roll them around 90 degrees. So I'll move that off to the side. Let's start here now. I'm going to just pick a line at random. Suggestion here is not to make the mistake I made. Call that point F to start with. That is the only point that you have located. The rest of them you have got to locate. You've got to find the hard way. Let me just 
find out where I am. There's point F. Sorry, the screen's upside down and back to front when I'm working with this. So let me just bring this back in the light. Done. So there's point F, I can see. Okay, good. So, from point F to point E was this measurement. Yep. So we know that from point F to point A actually is this small one. That's the diagonal one going across the first one I did. Okay, I'm just doing this for the um, fifth time, I think. Eventually I'll get the video right. The drawing's been accurate, but the video, however, hasn't. So, fingers crossed this one works. First thing I'll do, I'm just working up on here, I'll set the compasses to correct length again. So, over here I'm just extending the straight lines across. It's going point A to point A, that's going point E to point E, like so. Now, let's do the easy two first. That there is just point E to point F. So that is the length of E to F, it's the length of F to G, G to H, E to H. So all those four are the same. So that's that one done. This one here is the true length of A to B. That's an easy one. This one here, however, this is going to be the short triangle, or the short one from E to B, or A to F, or so on. To do this, we just simply get that triangle that I drew earlier, like so. I need to get the true length from E to B, which becomes that point in there. We have the height from there where the pencil lead is to point E is the true height. That's this height here. We've got the base, we've got the height, and that means that hypotenuse is the true length. So, let's just draw that out really quickly hello, while this thing falls apart on camera and all. Let's now go back to it again. Point E to point B looks like that's it. Okay, so there's point E to point B. If I draw that out true length. So, there is the base of the triangle. There, there is the height of the triangle. So the true length of that is from here out to the other side and I'll just wind that out that looks good yep okay so that there is the true length of point A to point F, point B to point E, or point D to point G, or point C to point H. Last one, same, same. We'll get the true length of the base from A to E, or B to F, it doesn't matter. Point B. point F, there it is. So there's the true length of the base.
from point B to point F. Point B to point F. And now we've got the height there already. So let's just put in the base from there to there. There is the true length of the base from that point there to this point here. And now we'll just wind it out, go back to straight underneath it. So there's our triangle from there to there to there. So there's our four measurements just there. Let's now then just set this thing up and start drawing. I'm going to just pitch that line in. There's a start point just there. I know the length, I'm going to call that point F. I'm going to start on F to A. There's point F, there's point A, like so. Obviously that point of intersection there is where point A is. Now let's have a look at this. Point A to point E is somewhere on that line. That's point A to point E on there. Point F to point B is somewhere along there. So there's that one. I do know that point F to point E is this compass, that's this measurement. And F to E is there where I have the point of intersection, that is point E. Point A to B is here. Okay. Check I haven't moved it. No, A to B is there. So, there is point B, just there. And if it's accurate, So, just tracing over the lines before, but just um, let's work through it and make I'll just go through step by step. I'll just draw a line out there roughly. See how close I can get. In between for point A. So, Point F to A lies somewhere on that line. We do know that this small one was point A to point F from earlier. There it is there. So that is point A, just at that position. I'll put a circle around it. I will not mark it with a dot yet. Okay, now we do know the point A to point E Similarly lies on that line. We know that point A to point E lies on that line. So there's that one. I do know that that distance there is A to B. So point A to B lies on here. And there it is. And similarly, I know that that's point E to point F. So that one lies in there like so. Just as a check before we go any further, let's just make sure we're accurate. That one there to that one there. Should marry up. That's out by too much. That's out by 3 mil. I'm going to go back and find out where the error is. Okay, got it. That long diagonal was out by half a millimetre, which is enough to cause that error you see. So I'll just remark that one now. That one there is E to F. That one 
there is A to B. And that one there. As you can see now, that's accurate. That's the outside line, that's that one in there. So that's point E, that's point B, somewhere in there. Same thing, let's repeat, wash, leather, rinse, repeat. Point B to point C is on that line. Point E to point F is on that line, it was the outside mark. Yes, is there, point E was the outside mark, just there, so that's point E to point C, there is point B, it's this one here, to point E is there, once again let's just check that, point C, yep, that's within limits of error, I'll take that. So that's point H, that's point C. And I don't know if you can see on the original paper, I did make a mistake here on the previous one, one of. Point C to point D, let's just mark them out one at a time, get them accurate. Point C to point D lies on there. So I'm putting that down so I don't disturb the setting. Point H to point C. Lies there like that. Sorry, point H to point D. Lies there like that. So there is point D. Point C to point G lies on that line. Point H to point G lies there, so there's point G just in there. Once again, we'll just do the check, make sure we're accurate. There's point D, there's point G, so we're bang on, that's good. Now lastly, wash, lather, rinse, repeat. D, we're just drawing triangles, essentially. D. G to point D. Good. Point G back to point F lies on that line. Point D to point F lies on that line. Let's just check we're accurate and we're there. There's that mark, there's that mark, and that looks good enough to me. So, there is point F, there is point A again, and now we can go through and just rule it in. Okay, so there is the first one finished.